least 14 people have died and 35 others are injured when heavy rain triggered a mudslide in Western Colombia. Officials confirm one person is reportedly missing and when several homes were buried in the region of Rizalralda, authorities are warning of the risk of further landslides in the area. More than 60 homes have been evacuated as emergency 24 services... 24 people assist. have been killed in what is being termed as the heaviest flooding in Ecuador in two decades. 20 people... 20 people have gone missing and 47 people have been injured. Video footage shows water carrying stones, mud and debris down the streets in the Ecuadorian capital. Homes have been inundated. Athletes and spectators on a sporting field were swept away. Quito received heavy rain for 17 straight hours. A capacity of 4,500 cubic meters. And a dangerous sinkhole opened up right in the middle of the street in Old City today. Take a look here. The road caved in along the crosswalk at 3rd and Arch. That's the kind of hole certainly that's going to cause some serious damage or possibly injury if you are around there. So police put cones up to secure the area. No word on how long it's going to be. Breaking right now out of Sunny Isle Beach, northbound and southbound lanes on Collins Avenue shut down. The reason, a sinkhole in the area of Collins and 165th Street. Shopper live above the scene right now. It's a story we're keeping an eye on. Close watch on and we'll bring you the very latest. I'm trying to see if we can get us. You see some police activity right there in that area. They're trying to make the best of that situation. National Park Service says a beach house has collapsed and is partly falling into the ocean. Take a look at this picture. This is on Ocean Drive in Rodan. Well, my officials say debris from the house has been washing up on the beach as far as seven miles away. 
People walking or driving on the sand should watch out for this dangerous debris. Joplin police have fenced off this sinkhole that opened up in Landreth Park. Look at this. Police said the hole appears to be about 25 feet deep and there's water in the bottom. Joplin Public Works trying to figure out what to do about the hole. For now, they put up a temporary fence. Another story for you, two to five months, that's how long it will take to fix the sinkhole, which has led to the closure of three lanes on the N1 South in Pretoria, Kotswane. The hole appeared about two weeks ago after the recent heavy rains and is creating a rush hour traffic nightmare. Water is the enemy of dolomite. And after the recent rains, it's suspected water was pooling alongside the highway. Sunrel has constructed a temporary drainage system around the sinkhole while engineers study the impact. The whole thing that we've got to do is figure out what's going on under the ground and how deep and how wide this extent is of the, of the slippage. And they do that by um, various means, um, gravity surveys. We're also going to drill. That does take one or two days, maybe a couple of weeks to organize. If it's a, a, a much bigger problem, where there's a, a cavity under the entire road and we have to basically bash the road in and bridge it um, uh, or use it, using a falling weight, a uh, big heavy uh, weight that's dropped by a crane to compact the ground, we could be looking at anything up to four months, maybe even five and a half months. She's gonna have to move her business, but Kelly Cannoli has been running out of this pink coffee stand on Lake City Way uh, for years now, serving her customers. But now, for over a year, just a couple hundred feet away, there's been this giant sinkhole that formed at a gas station. And it wasn't that big of a problem until recently when they were told by the property owners that they're gonna demolish all the buildings here. Truck was just getting gas, he felt the ground start to shake, and he just ran. He didn't know what was happening. He just ran and all of a sudden a giant sinkhole opened and swallowed his truck. That sinkhole formed more than a year ago at a gas station just a couple hundred feet away. Wilson's business was far enough away to remain open and serve customers until recently. It sat there for a year. The truck just hanging out. They finally just got it out and then now a second sinkhole opened and you can see the, the, the top of the gas station is like slanted, like the whole thing is about to collapse. Keeping our eye on the environment, geologists are closely watching Oregon's South Sister Volcano for activity. South Sister is not too far from Bend. Experts noticed a subtle increase in the rate of uplift of the ground on Monday. This was detected about three miles west of the volcano. Geologists tell us that the uplift is caused by small pulses of magma building up roughly four miles below the ground surface. So we believe, yes, magma is moving up and into that area. Now, it's interesting um, because the last major volcanic eruption in Oregon was 2,000 years ago, it was right there in that area. While they say this could eventually lead to a volcanic eruption, there would likely be more vigorous earthquakes leading up to it. 